Yellow! As I'm putting on my shoes, yellow. 2019. Okay, 2019 started, that's fair. You know, it's fresh. We don't know who's in, who's out. 2018, on the other hand, was absolutely lutely the year for Mr. Timothy Hal Chalamet. He is beyond greatness. He is so superior to the point where I, like, I watched Call Me By Your Name, like, the movie that he's in where he got his, like, big name from. Um. Oh, holy. Sorry, I'm really such a lady. It blew up. I watched the movie myself and I was like, oh, okay, like I absolutely damn need to meet Timothy How Damn Chalamet. 2018 rumbled by and guess what? Timothy Chalamet is on the list for Toronto Film Festival 18. And I was like, you damn well damn know that I'm going to be me. me he was literally, literally, he was my top five. Because I live in this dinky little suburb, it takes a little bit to get into the city of Toronto. It's not a long commute, but it does take some time. And like with celebrities, timing always is so different. And it's always like here and there and all that bubblegum dumbness. I was like, okay, Timothy Chalamet, I heard was going to be the first to be promoting his movie. He was, I don't even know what movie he was in. Is that bad? Like, I'm here standing him, but yet, like, what damn dingly movie are you in, buddy boy? So, I hear that he's gonna be, um, amongst the first people to be promoting his movie. I think it was a Friday or the Saturday. It was, like, one of the opening days of Toronto Film Festival. So, I was like, okay, like, that's so tough because you don't know if they're gonna be, like, the 8 a.m. kind of people or they're gonna be, like, the 10 a.m. kind of people. So, it really depends. So, I was like, okay, maybe I'll try and just be there in the middle, like, 9 p.m. Lo and behold, the man is damn promoting his movie at 8 o'clock in the morning. I was like, well, here we damn go because now I'm gonna miss him and then I'm gonna have to try and figure out where he is throughout the damn day. Beautiful boy. Okay, that's the movie with, I think, Steve Carell. I miss him in the morning. Now, I'm like, okay, well, hell, how am I gonna damn find this man throughout the day because I knew the hot spots he was gonna be doing in the morning. Well, darn too, now I have to go to the damn premiere and I'm going to have to wait a couple hours because I want to be front row at the damn red carpet and that's just going to be like a hassle. Uh, yo, I'm actually like not like this at all. I don't know why. I'm, I guess it's because the Perrier water. Chris Pine is doing the, um, he was doing his press conference in Toronto for his whatever movie he was in. I don't even, yo, he used to be this hot piece of man and then wow, things have just went downhill. I'll just say that seeing that man in person I was just like yikes we're at the where they're doing the press conference for Chris Pine's movie around the corner from that place that like location where they do the press conferences there's a restaurant literally not even a two minute walk called Mon Monte Carlo no it can't be Monte Carlo Monte Carlo is a damn Selena Gomez movie it's called something like Mount okay I was gonna say Mount Tremblant huh? like the Saint a damn skiing resort okay it's called Toronto restaurant okay it's not called bomb bomb bim bap bap bomb bim bap montecito yes montecito and adelaide adelaide and john street okay so this is gonna sound really weird like i'm gonna have to try and piece the puzzle together what in order to explain the story this okay on the street of where the press conference for chris pine was happening there was like a bunch of SUVs lined up. Prior to that, my friend had texted me like, okay, this is gonna sound so creepy, but like when it comes to celebrity hunting, for anybody who does celebrity hunting, y'all know, like you know when you need to get this information, you need to. So they text me Timothy Chalamet's car license plate that he has been, he had been traveling in, in that morning. So they were like, if you see it anywhere, that's him. Lo and behold, what do I see right where Chris Pine's thing, press conference is happening? On the street of all the es Escalades. Mr. Timothy Sh Tal Chalamet's damn license plate car number, what a ding, and I forget what it was, but his license plate was like probably Barbie, I think you're gnarly. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Nicki Minaj, Onika Tanya Mirage, good form featuring Lil Wayne, buy it on iTunes today, thank you. I see Timothy's car parked, I'm like, Okay, this has become my lucky day. I am literally not moving my darn tootin' damn eyes from that car. That car, the second that car turns on, so do these damn legs because I'm about to damn run with this car. What happens? The darn tootin' car turns on. My friend was like, okay, keep an eye out. If you see it moving, let me know. But like, I'm trying to get Chris Pine right now. I was like, okay, like, I get it. Like, you, you got Timothy in the morning, but um, you prioritize. It's, it's hard. Like, once you get somebody, you want the other person. I'm like, the car starts to turn on, starts to slowly move, but the car's empty. Nobody's in it. So I'm like, Oh my god, like to my friend, I'm like, it's leaving. They were like, George, do it. Go for it. Text me, call me, or like, tr like figure out where it's going. Let me know where the car ends up. The car starts moving, and I'm like, okay, well, so does this damn body because I ain't missing my chance. I, I'm like, oh, it, honestly, like, literally, the only time you'll ever catch this man running me is a if I'm at the gym with like energy and I'm on the treadmill, or if I'm running in danger from a damn killer. The car starts moving. It's like literally going. It turns right onto this one way street, Adelaide. Anybody in Toronto knows that Adelaide is a damn one way street. The west side of it, at least. You best believe I'm gonna be huffing and puffing going with this damn car. But then it stops. 
in front of Montecito, this restaurant, which is, like I said, nearly a two minute walk from where this press conference was happening. So there was no way I had continued running. I was like, <laughs> didn't break out of sweat, but pretended that damn broken. So I was like, yo, that was a long run, even though it was less than 30 seconds. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, he's literally having lunch right now. As soon as I pull out my phone to be like to my friend, like, hey, who do you think opens the door of Montecito restaurant here in Toronto and just happily walks out casually with his cute little sunglasses. And I know you're probably gonna be like, oh George, who was it now? You damn well know Timothy Hal Chalamet literally walks out in the cutest happy, happy smile on his face. I'm like, hey, this is more lucky than I've ever had in my damn 24 years of damn living on this damn earth. So I go, I'm like, I'm like, hi, Timmy. Like, a lot of people call him Timmy. I'm like, hi, Timmy. And I'm super sweet, you know, like, you know, like, I'm such a humble, like, wholesome person, right? You know, like, I'm kidding. And I'm like, oh my god, hi, Timmy. He's like, hey, man, like, what's going on? I'm like, I told him, I was like, you're never gonna believe this. I was like, I, I was actually, like, on my way downtown this morning to come meet you, and we could take, like, a cute selfie, whatever, and then I get there, and you're donezo for the damn day -so. He's like, you're kidding. And I was like, yeah, and he's super friendly with his fans, like, super friendly, like, fan, like all about the fans. Fans, like, I'm crazy, all about the fans. And he's like, oh my god, man, I'm sorry about that. And he's like, yeah, like, we had a really early morning, and he's like, I didn't even know that was gonna happen until I had to, like, wake up early, like, dropped out 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, 4 o'clock in the morning? He's like, yeah, like, they wanted me to get ready and, like, be ready for these interviews, like, by 8. I was like, that's crazy because you know my ass would have been like 7.30, okay, let's get up, put on some clothes and let's hit the hay. He's like, yeah, so he's like, how was, it? yeah, it was a quick conversation, like I'm trying to make it like I'm elongating this damn story, but it's actually like a very quick, he's like, how was your day been? I was like, it's pretty good. I was like, it's kind of decently hot outside and I'm like wearing jeans and it's just like, it's kind of uncomfortable, but other than that, like, I mean, I found you and I was like, I'm so happy that like I got to meet you. He's like, thanks man. He's like, did you want to do a picture? I was like, yes. At the time I had an iPhone six, so my entire, like I broke it, like I, I dropped it last year trying to meet Shia LaBeouf like running and it goes, whoa. I'm like, oh my god, like, I was like, yeah, like, I was like, can we do, like, a full body, I know, like, it's, and he's like, he's like, no, what's wrong with the selfie, like, I'll take it, too, and I was like, super nice, right, and I was like, eh, this is the damn issue, why we can't, he looks at it, he's like, yeah, 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 no, 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 he's like, he passes to his publicist, I forget what her name was, it could have been damn Jenny, it could have been all Olivia, it could have been bubblegum, and I was like, and she's like, here, take, like, can you take the picture for us, so I was like, yeah, oh my god, slay. he looks at my phone, he's like, that's tragedy, we take the picture, super friendly, wraps his hand around me, I put my hand, classic, like, over, like, I love, like, the, like, the, I do that with everybody kind of thing. Anyways, here's the first picture that we took. And then after that, I was like, oh, like, what are you doing for the rest of the day? He's like, we have a couple more things to do. I'm in, like, he was like, in terms of like interviews and stuff. But other than that, he's like, I have to get ready for the premiere tonight because the premiere was on. I'm pretty sure the, yes, because he said that. So I was like, oh my God, I'll be like coming to the premiere. I have to go. And I actually did go, I didn't go to like meet him because you had to have like waited prior in line and all that stuff. I was like, I'll come say hi. He's like, yeah, 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 come in. He's like, well, well like, I'll walk around. I'll come see like what's, like, what's going on. And then I ended up making it, but I was so far like in the, like in the audience, not audience, but like there was like a huge thing and I was just like so far I was just like king like literally raspiness losing my voice like king so and then he gets in the car and he's like see you later he rolls down his window and as I'm like walking away it was like kind of awkward because he had to get onto like Adelaide and I had to like walk the way his car was like getting out and then we were just like awkwardly there and, I'm, and I like to and I told him I was like I'm sorry <laughs> and he's like no he's like I'll see you later I was like Hi, like so awkward because like he was you know what I mean like his window was rolled down he was on the side of me trying to like wait for his car to move and I was like I should have been like can you tell your driver to move it or lose it bucko that's the end of my story meeting Timothy Hal Chalamet aka the legend him damn tartan dude sale for anybody who's watching my video for anybody's ever damn to watching my videos I will talk to y'all later TTYLs